What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. And holy crap, I think that Anaconda just blew up one of the system security guys. Alright. So let's get this party started. We're gonna go jump right into it. Um, as you can see, we already got a conda. I was trying to wait for a good uh, spawn, which it seems like we got. Pretty decent. Pretty decent one. We're starting off with an anaconda. There's also a couple, um, I think, I think federal assault ships or gunships in here as well. I'm actually being attacked by two people, I don't know why. Unless that was just what strafed me on accident. Alright, I gotta get away from him a little bit. Can't seem to get around on him. I'm really not sure, because he's not in a wing, so I'm really not sure who's shooting at me right now besides him. Stuff. Ooh. Now, ooh, a 300,000. Nice. That was worth it. Alright, we got a dropship, Fertilance, Vulture. And there was a Python in here somewhere, but let's go for the dropship. Uh, see what we've got going on there. So yeah, when we left off in the last... Sorry, I kind of just jumped in without my typical introduction, I suppose. But when we left off in the last episode, we started the... Ooh, he's in a wing. We started the um, the new patch, the commander update, where we made our avatar and all that good stuff. Let's put a couple into shields so that our shields come back. Um, and then we're still kind of doing... Um, Still kind of doing some bounty hunting, obviously. I may, I'm not going to make any promises, just because every time I do, then I typically end up not being able to live up to them. We got two eagles. Might want to take them out first. Um, but I might try this week, in between this week, uh, this episode and the next one, I may try to do... Um, a bit more off-camera work to work up my federal rank, as well as earn some more credits, because I really think I want to switch to a, um, a federal gunship. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I did not double-check to make sure that guy was wanted. Keep doing that crap. It's gonna, it's gonna screw me over one of these days. Alright, one down. Thirteen. Where's the other guy? Eh. I lost him. Alright, that's the dropship. He's He doesn't have any shields. Screw it. Let's go for him. Oh, oh he got his shields back. Not for long. Actually hitting him from this far away. I guess I am. I try and keep all of it. Rarely works, but I try and keep all of my guns uh, reloading at the same time. Oh, we killed his power plant. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Come on. 144. I'm guessing, since I'm not under fire at the moment, I'm guessing that the uh, security took out the eagle, is my assumption. We got a python? We're doing really good. I did relog a few times trying to get a good spawn, and when I saw an anaconda, I was like, yeah, that's usually, like an anaconda and a federal dropship in one instance, I was like, that's usually a pretty good indicator that you've got a decent... Oh, he's not wanted. Ugh. See? I do it all the time. All the time. Uh, there's a vulture here. He might be worth going after. I'm gonna fly into something. The anaconda's security. Alright, wait. So is the vulture. Dang it! 
Oh, ultra security too. Crap. Uh, I mean, maybe the explorer will have a bounty. They have a bounty sometimes. If not, I might do some relogging. Because we're, we're seeming to dry up a little bit here. What do we got? Clean. Okay, fine. It's scanning me. It's probably the system guys. They scan me all the time. There's an adder. He might be up to no good. Might even be making trouble in the neighborhood. Um, let's check him out. Since we don't have anything else to do at the moment. He's dangerous. But he's floating. Around. Yeah, he's clean. Alright. So let me do some relogging real quick. And I'll see if I can't get us into a... Uh, more lucrative instance. Okay, so I don't know if this is actually a good spawn or not, but we did find another python, or uh, another anaconda. So, I figured I'd go with it anyway. At least for this one. So we'll see what goes on and how this goes. But I don't, as you can tell, there's a couple of system guys in here, but I don't see a ton of security. I don't know what those green things are either. I can't say I recall seeing that. Might be point defense, maybe, for anti missiles. Not entirely sure. Ooh, you're trying to hit me with that railgun or whatever. Oh, no, that was him. Never mind. Oof. That's doing some work on his shields, though. Alright, we got his power plant. Power plant. Nice. He's dead in the water. Well, in a minute he'll just be dead. Which works for me, because he didn't even really hurt my shields. Nice! 339! Hmm. Those condos are bringing in some money. Ooh, and another one? And a python. So it seems pretty good. Seems like we got a pretty good one, as long as they keep coming in like that. Now let's make sure this guy's wanted first. He is! Hurrah! Oops, wait, no, what a- wait, crap, no, wrong, um, I was trying to scan him. And I was using the hotkeys to figure out, or to get, um, I was trying to cycle his, uh, sub-targeting, and I used the wrong shortcut keys on my controller. And I was just switching my... <laughs> I was just switching my hard point setup. Or fire groups. That was kind of bad. Yeah, this has to be point defense or something. Because I've never seen just green lasers like that. Come on, take the shields down. Dang, nab it. His shields are being stubborn. I love my, my system sometimes when she's like, under attack, and it's like, no kidding. Always makes me think of the red versus blue, you know, would you put that in a memo and title it? Crap, I already know. Oh, ow. It still gave it to me, though. 368? What? We are doing some work. Alright, he does not have a record? he does. Okay, so who else are we looking at? The other big guys are system security looks like. Scout, Keelback. See, this is my dilemma though. I'm not sure if I should be waiting for new ships to spawn because they're like you're still in a good spawn rate area or if I should actually be moving on to different ships and seeing if I can 
or a different spawn area, like a relogging type of thing to get new spawns. I, I can't ever really be sure which one is the best way to do it. Like, once you find a good one, should you, should you just kind of hover there for a bit until bigger ships come back in? Or have you kind of like dried up the well and need to move on to another spawn thing? I think these are escorts for the python right there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Hmm. I don't know. Relogging has been doing work for us, though. Let's check out over here and see what these little blips are. Because we do have some new targets over here. Ooh, a gunship. A dropship. Oh, tell me they're not in a wing. They are in a wing. Oh, they've got a drop ship and two gunships. I'm definitely gonna need system guys for that. Oh, it looks like they're jumping in. Oh, wait, that's an adder. Oh! He's wanted. I'm gonna try and get on this. Did I get him? Oh, it gave it to me! Nice! Alright, where's the drop ship? I didn't know if I could get that that quickly. Wait, is he part of a different wing? Nope, now it's two of two. Okay. So where's the other gunship then? There you are. 191, let's go after him. Oh, wait! That says three of three. So he's in a different wing with the adders? Oh! Well, now. This just got lucrative. Assuming we can balance this right and not have all of them attacking us at one time. Which is a big if. Oh, come on. Do that to me. Stop it! Come back here! Stupid. Oh, somebody's getting lit up. Alright, so we've scanned all of them, so let's go after whoever they're targeting, because they're that'll be our easiest prey. Which is the dropship. This instance. Yoink! Oh, it didn't give it to us. Darn. Alright, now where? Oh, where did my other targets go? There you are. Sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy. Just trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out if I want to be the first ones to light these guys up or not. Yeah, we're gonna risk it. At least on the... Ooh, that's not good. At least on the adder, we should be able to take it down relatively quickly. It's mainly that gunship that's... If he's sitting on us the whole time, we're gonna have a problem. There you go! Oh, I hate this thing. Ooh, there's four. Why are there four red dots? Alright, he should be done. Oh. There we go. Ooh, this is not good. They're aggroed on me too much. That's the problem right now. I got, I got too much attention on me. Beam Anaconda. Thank you. Oh, did they get the, the gunship? Pooh. They got the gunship. There's a Fertilance over here, though. Hello. I'm gonna put everything into shields for a minute while I 
scan you. Though I may not be able to if he gets away from me. Alright, sorry. One for you to another. Nothing personal. Ow. I think I just flew through all the system guys' beams. Come here. I hate fighting my own ship. Fly right in, why don't you? Oh, took one of them out. Pretty sure we were actually shooting each other with the same thing, like. Ooh, 380 for a 30. Nice. I was not actually expecting that much. We actually have done a lot in a little bit of time in terms of um Ooh, he is wanted. Sweet. In terms of our how many kills we had and how much money we've made. But yeah, I started to say sorry, I get a little distracted when I had to break for a second and do some um relogging. But I want to try and everybody keeps recommending either the Federal Assault Ship or the Federal Gunship, and I'd really like to do the Gunship because um, it'll let me experiment with uh, fighters and things like that. So I really want to do that, but a couple of things. I use the um, kind of the same kind of the same tool that I always use, the Elite Dangerous Shipyard web app thing. Um, in order to kind of plan out a build for a gunship. And I think the way I wanted to do it came out to something like 115 million or something. So I don't have the money to do it right now. Even if I sold my fertile ants, it's, that gives me like 70 something, I think. And then I have like 17 or something. So I'm still not quite there. Um, in terms of the resources needed to do what I want to do in that build. Um, and like anything, you can always start with less than ideal, you know, you don't have to jump right to class A components that are 13 million a piece, you know, and stuff like that. You can, you can do lesser um, equipment, but right now my Fertilance is really well equipped, so I don't really want to, I don't really want to work backwards and go to a lower tier uh, combat ability just to have a different ship. I'd rather wait and save up. The other thing is I need to improve my rank, I believe, to... Ooh, I'm gonna get this wrong. I, I want to say Ensign for Federation, I think. And if my memory serves, um, if my memory serves, Ensign is like rank six or seven in the, in the tier. Um, but I need, so I need to raise my rank and, huh? Boom, data delivery, what? We have con a contact in the Brugger system. They have some important data that needs passing on to our client, Picoria Defense Party and Smith Dock. Please find Marie Ware and deliver the data for us. It's worth a hundred thousand. Reputation, medium increase, influence. Plan your journey via the galaxy. I mean, it's a hundred grand for just delivering. Where is that? Oh, wait, what? Uh, is that around here? It's only six light years away. I may do that off camera since I have the um since I had since Yeah, let's just accept that. I've never had them just show up with a message before. That's really interesting. Okay, back to the task at hand. Ooh, we got another drop ship. There's also some gunfire going on over there. I think. Does not look like he's part of a wing. He is wanted. Perfect. My kind of target. 
Um, so yeah, I really need to raise up my fed rank, and from what I can write or find online, it's kind of one of those, I'm never 100% sure if what you're reading is accurate or not. Um, okay, this is bothering me. And they finally fixed this, I guess, because I did it earlier. But that's really annoying me. It wouldn't go away. Um... So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of thinking that from what I've heard in, do in doing the courier missions and all that kind of stuff that you have to do... Did I say accelerated? Or decelerated shield regeneration? Um, oh, maybe it's accelerated for him. That would make more sense. I just realized his name is tracking you. <laughs> That's funny. I thought it was actually telling me that this target was tracking me, and then I realized, nope, that's his name. Stop hitting me with that. If you're gonna hit me with that, at least you can have the decency to not chaff so that I can actually hit you. Oh, this is bad. Ooh, 191. I thought it was gonna do more to my shields when you blew up. Type 7 transport, another explorer. He's probably got a bounty. Maybe. Yes! Yay! Um So I'm kind of wondering if I do the from what I can tell, the best way to raise up your bounty, since they've done patches and updates and everything now, is there's a two-system courier thing where you can go back and forth, and it's like the most simple route, so it doesn't take as long. And I've heard that you can get ranked up relatively quickly. I mean, in terms of elite standards, which is still a grind, but relatively you can kind of get leveled up uh, or ranked up easier by by running this route, and then on top of it, you're also making like you know credits here and there as you're doing the mission. So it turns into one of those where I'm kind of thinking by the time you get up in rank, you end up having a decent amount of money, kind of thing. So what I'm wondering is basically if in trying to get my rank if I will kind of bridge the gap that I have um, and be able to then actually buy my ship once my rank is there. That's that's my thing. Now I know that my current ship is worth like 70 some thousand or million, I mean. Um, where's statistics? Statistics? I thought it was statistics. Balance. There we go. Current assets. Credit spent on ship. 79. So I think it's somewhere like 79 million if I turned in the ship right now. My Fertilance. And I currently have 17 plus whatever I make this episode. So overall, you know, I should have another... Well, we've got 780 there and 1.05 there. So we should have almost 2 million um, just off of the, the stuff that we made today. So there's that. That's a really good thing. That would put us at around 19, give or take. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those... What would that put us at? 79, did I say? So 79, and then 19... So we're looking at just over maybe a hundred million, give or take a little here and there. Um, just rough math. So with that in mind, you know, if it costs like a hundred and fifteen or whatever, whatever it was that I said, I don't really know offhand, but it was something like that. 
to do the whole build that I had planned out. It was like 115 or 120 or something like that. So we still have a little bit of ways to go, but I'm wondering if I could make that while trying to do my ranking. And again, I want to say, oh yeah, I'll have that done. I, I don't know that I'll have that done because this next week that I have coming up is going to be pretty busy and I probably won't have very much time at all to spend on recording stuff. So if I have a moment where like, you know, I'm not really doing anything and I'm just relaxing, I could always like, if you're just going to be like watching Netflix or something, I could always play this in the background and do courier missions and things, you know, while doing something else. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. But, I cannot guarantee how much time I'll have to do that, or whatever, or how much progress I'll make. So, with all that in mind, I wouldn't hold me to it, but that's kind of my plan, idea, what I've got going on in the back of my head. Um, and if it, if it manif- or if it, yeah, if it manifests, it happens, and if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, kind of thing. Um, so, there's that. Well, we had some good stuff going. Now it's kind of died off a little bit. Um, but I also look, I, as always, I, I always look for feedback on if you guys are, you know, oh, go here, do this, and it's a quicker way to do it, or, you know, um, you can exploit this, you can do that, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm always open to suggestions, but I really just wanted to be able, because the, the gunship only costs about, I want to say it's like 34 million. So it's not too bad to just buy it, but when I did all the stuff the way I would want it to, like, replace my Fertilance, because now you're dealing with a ship that's better than your Fertilance, um, you know, you end up with Class A everything and all that stuff. So... When you're, when you're doing all that, you end up with really expensive items, and, like, I think my... I think when I did the the thing, like the, the shipyard thing, my shield generator by itself was gonna cost like 16 million or something at a class A. Or, no, I'm getting it mixed up. Class 5 or class 6 A rating, I think. The letters are the rating and the number is the class, I think. So, you know, like I said before, you could start with a B or, you know, a 4 or whatever, and you would lower your cost, but then you're not quite as, um, quite as formidable, and when you're coming off of a ship that was kind of fully kitted out, it's hard to see the appeal of dropping down. I could, in the interest of getting it done faster, but I don't particularly see the need, so, you know... That's what I'm thinking, though. That's my idea. The other thing that I thought about at some point... Um, uh, there was a comment on my last video that talked about there's some... I guess lore-type thing that has been revealed in this most recent patch or whatever, where... Um, they found some derelict ship that was part of an expedition and it's some massive ghost ship thing or whatever. So that's another option if you guys know about that or are intrigued by it or, you know, anything like that and we all decide we want to go out there and investigate it, that's totally fine too. I don't know if there's any real reason to or if it's just purely for a story aspect of what is this thing and what's going on and blah blah blah. So, yeah. So that. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm pretty much thinking that somewhere between now and the next episode during this week, I'm going to try maybe once or twice throughout the week to sit down and, and do a few sessions of trying to get my rank up and earn some more credits so that hopefully in the next episode, if not fully prepared, we're at least a little bit better set up to where we could move to a gunship. Because I really want to try it out, especially... Um, after hearing about it. I know the assault ship has been said to be a really, really good all-around combat vessel, but I really like the idea of being able to use a fighter um, and have a hangar and all that stuff. Mainly two reasons. One, it's something new and different, and it's something they recently added in the patches and stuff, but also um, just because it does actually sound lucrative to make up for the gunship's lack of maneuverability. Because that's kind of what I've heard about it, is the salt ship is more maneuverable, which makes it very dangerous, but the gunship is kind of this floating 
tank that just has a lot of firepower kind of thing. And with that in mind, you know, I like the idea of being tanky and being hard to kill, but then I also like the idea that even though you're not as maneuverable, you're able to launch a fighter, you know, to kind of compensate for that for larger ships and things. So between it being something new and different and then also being something that's intriguing as far as from a combat strategy t uh, standpoint, it sounded like something... I I'd, I'd rather do that than just jump to an assault ship where... Technically, it's probably got better firepower and all that kind of stuff in terms of them comparing to the Fertilance, but it's kind of the same thing, and I'd kind of like... From what I've also heard, the gunship is kind of your gateway ship into the bigger class, like Condas and stuff like that. Before you actually get into the really big ships, you can kind of... Ooh, a clipper! Nice. You can kind of get used to uh, a, a bigger... Um, tankier ship and has a hangar and so you get used to fighters and all that kind of stuff. So overall I really like the idea of it um, but it is more expensive. The um, the assault ship was something like I don't know 18, 20 million, something like that base value and then the um Ooh, stop it and then the um Gunship is like 34 to start, type of thing. Um, and I think they came out relatively close when they're fully equipped. Like, uh, the Federal sh Assault Ship, I want to say, was somewhere around 95, um, 95 million to fully deck it out the way I'd want to. And then the, uh, the gunship was like 119 or 120 or something. So, yeah. But overall, this episode, we made a, a good bit of money. Ooh, we should close this episode out with a conda. That sounds like a great idea. Where is he? That sounds like a great idea. Watch him not even be wanted, though. Ooh, he's in a wing. That's dangerous. Who's shooting at Okay, what has he got as an escort? Ooh, vipers! Alright, so I'm definitely going after the vipers first. And letting the system guys handle... the conda for a minute. Because I do not want vipers on my tail while trying to take out a conda. That's a bad, bad situation. It's like anything in this game. Vipers and stuff on their own against a fertile ant's not really that big of a threat, but when you're going up with two while also getting wailed on by an anaconda, that can get uh, that can get messy pretty quick. Alright, give me a shot on him. The only thing I gotta watch with the vipers is they're more maneuverable than me, I'm pretty sure. So they can get around on me. Wow, I barely did anything to him. At least I got the credits for it. That's cool. I wasn't sure if they would give it to me because I really didn't do much. I'm very surprised I haven't aggroed the uh, Conda at this point by taking out his wingman. Oh, come on. Stop with your chaff. It's so annoying. I'm surprised I don't use it more for myself. Because I really ought to. Come on. Come on. Knock it off. You know you're gonna die. There we go. And follow the laser beams. Hey, look. Oh, no. They got him. I took too long on the vipers. Dang it. didn't think they would tear him up that fast. Oh well. Alright, so I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!